The Weather. Brought to you by H-E-L-N-P. Cyber scammers are capitalising on the fear surrounding the Optus hack after millions of Australians had their personal information leaked. Experts are urging everyone to remain hypervigilant and tonight we can reveal where your private and financial information is most at risk and how you can protect yourself. An almighty traffic jam at Department of Transport and Main Road offices across the state. I've only moved a couple of metres, so I could be here for another hour or so. Anxious Optus customers making a desperate dash to preserve their privacy. I got an email on the weekend saying my uh, personal information had been compromised. Upset. I guess, and violated. Driver's licence numbers are just one of the crucial pieces of data exposed in the telco hack. The state government announcing Queenslanders caught up in the breach will be able to get a new number and a new card for free. We ordinarily do about 30 licence number changes a week. Today we did 7,000. The FBI is now joining the Australian Federal Police in probing the alarming incident. With names, dates of birth, email addresses, Medicare and passport numbers among the information shared online. There's enough data in that, in that scrape to set up identities of credit cards, loans, mobile phone numbers in your names. For now, passwords or financial details haven't been compromised, but customers' credit history is at risk. Apply for a credit score right now and then come back in a few weeks to see if anything's changed. And we're being warned to brace for more sophisticated and pervasive scams. Phishing emails, for example, that are going to be much more targeted than your, your everyday uh, attack. With future attacks inevitable, cyber experts say now is the time to double down on your personal security. To mitigate the risk, change passwords on social media platforms and activate multi-factor authentication attached to banks, health services and superannuation. And update digital wallets where you may have your card details stored for online purchases. Any data that you provide to any organisations, any website may be at risk of a cyber attack. Bridget O'Brien, Nine News. Well, time for the full weather forecast now. Back to Gary. Uh, Gaz, have you got a nice one lined up for us tomorrow? I certainly have, Andrew. Uh, a couple of great days, in fact. Your Thursday and Friday looking fine. The best two days of the week. Back to sunshine tomorrow. But I'm afraid showers will move back in over the weekend and into next week. Another rainfall event that's set to spread across every state and territory. But a nice evening here on the Gold Coast this evening. Let's have a look at temperatures across your backyard. It was warmer than forecast and above the September average. Today, topping out at 27 degrees, the maximum at Cool and Gatta, Gat and Ipswich, 26 in Brizzy, a Rambo Desert, uh, also for the Goldie and Logan, 25 in Caboolture and Redcliffe. To the weather map, showers and storms with heavy falls likely over Western Australia and the Northern Territory. This is the start of the next rain band that will spread right across the country over the next eight or nine days. For the capitals, sunny and 29 in Perth, cloudy for Melbourne, few showers in Hobart, wet and windy for Sydney, showers in Darwin, sunny for Alice Springs. Queensland, a little bit of cloud in Cairns and 30 tomorrow. Uh, morning showers for Townsville and Mackay, early showers in Rocky and Gladstone with a chance of thunderstorms. Morning showers in Bundaberg, then mostly fine for Gympie and Maryborough. Sunny and warm for Mount Isa and Longreach. Roma, 23 degrees. Here in the southeast, a sunny day, fresh west to southwesterlies tomorrow. Overnight temperatures ranging between 10 and 16 degrees. Daytime highs, we're looking at mid 20s, up as high as 27 degrees for Ipswich. Morton Bay, west southwesters, uh, that, that change in the morning, 10 to 15 knots easing later in the day, the seas below a metre on the bay. Brizzy, mostly sunny, a low of 15 and a top of 26. The week ahead, mostly sunny Friday and 26, then afternoon showers Saturday, cloudy with scattered showers Sunday, a shower to Monday, Tuesday and even into Wednesday. Ipswich, sunny and warm Friday, late showers Saturday, a few showers Sunday and the chance of showers Monday, Tuesday. Here on the Goldie, mostly sunny and again mid-20s for Friday, showers developing Saturday, cloudy and wet Sunday with a few showers Monday and Tuesday. And on the Sunshine Coast, fine Friday, afternoon showers Saturday, plenty of showers Sunday and a few showers Monday and into Tuesday. So a couple of nice guys to wrap up September, but guys, I'm afraid the weekend, first one of October, we're in for some uh, more rainfall. Mm, all right, we'll take it. Not too now. bad. Thanks, right. Gary. And before we go, here's a look at a story you won't want to miss tomorrow night. 
Queensland granny flat real estate boom. Big government rule changes making extra cash for homeowners and real solutions for Queenslanders needing housing. In a Nine News Rental Crisis special, we reveal all the new affordable backyard accommodation options. Nine News tomorrow. And that's Nine News Queensland for this evening. Dimity Clancy's next with The Current Affair. Good night.